King Charles penned a touching letter to Canada's Governor General, Mary Simon. In the heartfelt letter, the monarch reflected on his whirlwind Canadian tour earlier this year, whilst also sending his warmest wishes ahead of the new year. His Majesty wrote, As we start a new year, my family and I wanted to send to you and all Canadians our warmest good wishes. He went on to say, My wife and I greatly enjoyed our visit to Canada in May to mark Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. And this brings you and all the people of Canada every blessing for 2023. King Charles signed off his personal note with Charles R. The then Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla jetted off to Canada back in May for a three-day trip celebrating the late monarch's impressive 70-year reign. The couple received an official welcome from Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Governor General Mary May Simon at the Confederation Building their first stop after getting off the plane. During their royal tour, Charles and Camilla paid a visit to Ottawa's by Ward Market, met with Indigenous leaders and community organizations in Yellowknife and took part in a roundtable discussion on climate change and sustainable business initiatives. Charles' New Year's message comes after the monarch spent the festive period with senior members of the royal family at Sandringham. On Christmas Day, King Charles and his wife Queen Consort Camilla led the royals in their annual festive walkabout following the morning service at St. Mary Magdalene. The monarch and his wife were joined by senior members of the royal family, including the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children, Zara and Mike Tyndall, and the Earl and Countess of Wessex. In keeping with tradition, Charles delivered his first ever Christmas speech to the nation on Sunday afternoon. Recorded in the choir of St. George's Chapel in Windsor, the monarch opened his broadcast by saying, I am standing here in this exquisite chapel of St. George at Windsor Castle, so close to where my beloved mother, the late Queen, is laid to rest with my dear father. He continued, I am reminded of the deeply touching letters, cards and messages which so many of you have sent my wife and myself and I cannot thank you enough for the love and sympathy you have shown our whole family.